Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is in response to a viewer who needs my help to be able to view Excel worksheets side by side. Here's the letter. Dear Danny, I want to be able to compare multiple Excel worksheets. I've done this in the past, but it's been a while. And besides, that was when I was using Excel 2003. Can you help me to do this in Excel 2007? Certainly, we're going to be using commands that we find on the View tab of the ribbon. Now, before I go any further, the terminology that we're going to be using, Window Workbook Worksheets. So I'm going to show you how we can open up new windows to view either an additional worksheet in the workbook or to compare in different windows two separate workbooks. So we'll open up new windows, then I'll show you how we can arrange the windows, either as vertically tiled or horizontally or cascaded. Finally, I'll show you how we can view side by side two windows. Now those two windows could be windows from the same workbook, two windows for different worksheets in the workbook, or two separate workbooks. Okay, can be confusing. Window, workbook, worksheet. Let's go over here and see which are the workbooks that I presently have active. I have two workbooks open. This workbook that we're looking at, which I'm going to close so I can concentrate on the second workbook. I find it to be a best practice when you actually focus and just use the one workbook that you want to be working on. So the only file that I have open is this workbook that contains four worksheets. Three almost identical worksheets and then a summary worksheet. All right, let's open up additional windows. So view tab of the ribbon, click once to open up a new window. Hey, nothing happened. Click it again. Hey, nothing happened. And it won't happen until you actually click Arrange All. So when I click OK, I'm going to have three windows that will show me sheets for the active workbook. And I'm going to be using Vertical as the arrangement. Click OK. Window number one, window number two, window number three. So you notice these little numbers that are over here. They mean nothing. It just identifies the active window that we have. So window number one, window number two, window number three. What I want to be able to do is show different worksheets in different windows. So here in the left window, book one is the active one. When I want to make book two active over here in the middle, it's a two-step process. First, I click to make the middle window the active window, and then I choose the cell or the worksheet that I want to be able to show. So a two-step process to make book three uh, open over here in the right window. First, to make the window active, and the second, to select the worksheet. So I have three different totals over here, book three, book two, and book one. Now, one reason that I might want to have three windows open is perhaps I want to show the effect of working in group. So I want to group these three worksheets. I hold down Shift while I select these three. I'm working in group edit mode. Let's come over here to the Home tab of the ribbon, and let's choose one of the styles. Why don't we choose the 40% accent? So now you can see the effect that I have with that grouping and changing the style. Let's ungroup the worksheets, and let's use Control-Z to undo that style effect. Now, when I'm over here, I have one window that is the active window. And when I'm scrolling, it scrolls individually. When I come over here and I want to scroll over here, you see each one is individual. Now, let's close down one of these. Actually, let's close down two of these windows and maximize this. Come back here to make sure that we're only working with one window. So there's only one window. Now I'm going to show you how we can view side by side. I want to be able to show the summary window and then I want to make changes in individual worksheets. So the first thing again is to come over here and choose new window. Now that I'm going to have two windows, I can come over here and say view side by side, and I also get an opportunity to use synchronous scrolling. So over here in the left window, the worksheet that I want to have active is the summary, 
and over here I want to activate book one. So now what I have, this is the active window. Notice that when I scroll down I'm getting synchronous scrolling. So synchronous scrolling is only available when we are viewing worksheets or workbooks side by side. We're limited to two. So now let's come over here and actually let's change the orientation. This will be easier to see if we make this into a horizontal view. All right, now here is the active workbook up here. If I want to be able to have my summary up on top, what I do is I come over here and say reset the window position. So the workbook that I want to have on top, I select it and come over here and say reset the window. So if I wanted to have this one, I first activate it, reset the active window. Now you see the individual worksheet is the one that I'm viewing. Let's come back here and show the summary on top. Activate the window, reset the window position. All right, so now I want to be able to see what happens to my summary when I change a number. So over here, if I change this to 1500, now I can see the effect that it has on that number. Let's change another number. Let's change this to 765, and we can see the effect that we have when we're comparing worksheets side by side. So this is really great when we want to see a summary and then the detail. So there you've seen how to take advantage of viewing windows side by side. It's a great effect. It's very useful. It's very powerful. But it does have a couple of little tricky elements. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next window. I mean the next lesson.